If you buy this 18 unit apartment building, you and I are gonna be neighbors. Patrick, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Um, for those of you that are new to the show, this is not our normal studio layout. This is actually my home. You guys are in my home right now. Uh, we are doing our part uh, because of the whole coronavirus thing, you know, social distancing, self-quarantine, things of that nature. I am a little bit under the weather, so I have been held up here at the Wise Estate. <clears throat> but that does not mean that we are not going to continue to bring you guys investment opportunities, investment education, real estate consulting, things of that nature. And Pat, me and you, man, we've done uh, several uh, videos together. We are contracted to do a ton. You have $2 million you'd like to, to place in the Cleveland market. And uh, you're looking to get yourself some large multifamily buildings. We've gone over a few, and this is another one. And I got to say, dude, I really, really like this one. This is one you actually. Uh, have been very, very interested in. You brought this one. You're like, hey, man, I like this building. What do you think about it? And that's what I'm going to tell you, dude. 18-unit apartment building, like I said, I really do like the deal for you, but there are some things I want you to know. There are some things I'm looking at in the performa sent to us by the listing agent, some agents out of a Keller Williams office. Uh, there are some things in there that I, I don't agree with, so I want to make sure you understand that. So, Let's get into it. 3308 Archwood Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. They just listed this 42 days ago for $749,999. Now, this is a, uh, a turnaround project, okay? As a matter of fact, I recall, oh, shit, dude, I don't know, like four or five years ago, uh, you know, we were looking into possibly buying this particular property. It was like two, three, three fifty somewhere in there, two hundred to four hundred thousand or something. And uh, the building was all kinds of fucked up, dude. It was just fucking destroyed, right? It was a total uh, shit show, really. And uh, you know, hindsight, twenty twenty, you know. Yeah, I probably should have did that deal for whatever reason. I don't recall. Maybe we saw uh, a better project at that time or didn't feel like getting into such a big project. or I don't remember exactly why I passed on this deal, but I ended up passing on it and I didn't do it. But hindsight's twenty twenty with what it's worth today, the market going up, the fact that the, the location right here, this is a specific location in the Cleveland market that uh, there's a ton of great opportunity in this particular market even more so than the fact that between 2016 and 2020, uh, the overall market in the entire country has gone up. So, you know, I says 2020, I probably should have did this deal, but I didn't, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm in a good spot um, and the deal is available for you. And even though it's already been turned around, I, I still think it's a great opportunity uh, for someone like you, what you're trying to do, you're trying to invest passively. So what we've got, we've got 18 apartments, Currently, they have 16 of those 18 occupied. 14 are one-bedroom apartments. Four of them are two-bedroom apartments. Now, going through the poor proforma that the um, listing agents have sent us, you know, things look nice. Here's a picture of one of the units, big, huge, spacious units, right? Now, just so you know, those, uh, you know, the furniture and stuff you see, those are digitally rendered. This is one of the vacant units, okay? They, they do some digital rendering, make things look nice. And then their performer just goes on to talk about the location because the location is a, a really strong, strong benefit to this particular property, okay? You are literally right next door to the Metro Health Campus. And they talk about this in their performa. You know, they got that cool little graph right there. You're three minutes away from the Metro Health uh, Campus. And the cool thing about the Metro Health Campus is they are investing $1 billion. One of the pages on the performer, they talk all about it. The West 25th Metro Health Corridor Projects and Plans. And I've talked about this on my show many, many times. I love it, man. 
Metro Health, huge hospital down there. They're investing over a billion bucks or just under a billion bucks, somewhere in that, in that neighborhood. They are investing billion dollars and they're going to do so in the Metro Health building itself on their campus. And they're also investing in additional affordable housing plans. If you go to the last page of their Performa, they break it down from year 2014 to year 22 with uh, you know all the things that are happening. And then under that, they've got their rent roll, okay? As of right now, they have 16 of the 18 units occupied. I believe based upon the rental rates and I counted everything, I believe all those 675s you see there, I'm like 99% confident all of those are your two bedroom units. So there's one missing. So I believe one of the vacant units is a two bedroom and the other one is a one bedroom. So what would you get if you buy this? Well, if we get those other two units occupied, because here's the thing, man, it, it's it's an 18 unit apartment building. Things are always going to be in flux when you get an 18 unit apartment building, right? So like, sometimes I see like newer investors, they want to do these deals and they're like, I want to write the offer contingent on that building being 100% finance when we close. Well, dude, it don't work like that, right? People are going to be coming, they're going to be going, dude. This is like a, a thing in flux here, right? So, you know, we might get it all occupied and then some other tenant puts a notice. So we can't be like stalling deals out for a, a relevant stuff like that. But generally speaking, it's almost 100% occupied, almost 100% turned, right? Things are looking good. When um, we operate this thing on an average basis, getting those two units you know, rented as well, our scheduled rent should be 11450 a month or 137400 a year. But Patrick, brother, you know that that is, of course, not all the money you're going to make. You know, that's what it's scheduled to make. But we need to factor in our expenses, okay? That's our income, 137400 But we're going to have a lot of costs associated with that. In addition, we're not even going to bring in that entire 137400 You don't get paid 100% of your rents at 100% of your units 100% of the time. It just don't work. So going through their performa again on one of the pages, the page with the graph, okay? I got that up on the screen for you, the graph that shows how close it is to the Metro Health Campus. They have listed their costs, okay? They got gas, water, sewer, insurance, waste management, all right? They have all their costs listed here for us. And what they have is they've offered this building to everyone for $749,900. Now, if you take a look at their performa, the amount of money they're saying that they're going to make on the last page here, annually, $135,000, okay? That you're actually, you know, that's not them factoring in the other two vacant units. So I say it's 137400 is what the scheduled rents are going to be. But what they're doing is they're offering, they're, they're advertising this as this is like a 9.7 cap. I do not agree with that. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that they are not advertising this thing honestly. I just believe that the particular listing agents have left out some things that need to be factored in. They, like If you go back to this page with their expenses, right? they've listed some actual expenses, but there are other variable expenses that you as an investor need to account for because they're going to happen, right? There isn't any vacancy on here. There isn't any non-payment of rent. There isn't repairs or maintenance, right? They, you have to include all that stuff because that stuff happens, dude. Like it's impossible to think that you'll have an apartment building that doesn't include that stuff. So on our chart, I've put all that in for you, right? So if you scroll all the way down right here, I got a line. Trash, gas, water, and sewer per the seller, $2,527 a month or $30,325 a year. That is what they have listed there. In addition, they also listed the insurance. So that's their actual as well, $4,608 or $384 a month. Those are what they've listed out for us. Now, there are some additional things that I've added. I've also added additional $5,000 for water and sewer or 416 a month because I believe 
that what they have listed is rather low. Okay. Now these are their, their actuals, but I, this is a turn project, right? So I'm not saying that the actual water and sewer bills that they have listed for us are not accurate. I, I fully believe them that those are the water and sewer bills. Um, but I, I'm guesstimating that they didn't have the property at a high occupancy during all 12 of those months. Cause you know, the information they've given us, by the way, everything you see in this video, brother, this is it. Uh, I talked to the listing agent about this, you know, multiple times at length. This is all the information the listing agent is able to get from his seller. So like what you see here is what you're going to get. Okay. So that's why it's important for you to rely upon me and my expertise managing a $50 million plus portfolio here in this particular market to give you an estimate of like what's really going to happen, what your real experience is going to be. Because just because the seller had one experience or the seller has performance one particular way, you know, over a short period of time, that doesn't necessarily mean that's how it's going to pan out from you. And the only way you're going to figure out how it's probably going to pan out from you is, you know, working with a guy like me, which I think you clearly know, which is why we're doing this, right? So with all that said, I believe an additional $5,000 of water and sewer should be placed into our numbers. In addition, five seventy two a month for repairs and maintenance, five seventy two a month for vacancy and non-payment, five seventy two a month for capital expenditures. Another thing they didn't calculate is taxes, six forty seven, um, lawn care forty four, and then property management one thousand one hundred forty five. None of that stuff was factored in. So all told, after you factor all that stuff in, I believe our Net operating income on average is going to drop drastically from what they've listed, right? They're saying we're supposed to be making 72,750. In all actuality, I think that's going to be a little bit lower, about 18K lower. I think it's going to be 54,844. Now, something else I want to talk about. If you look at their actuals, right, they have something here saying gas will drop considerably to about $80 a month with retirement of the boiler and conversion to individual units. And then it also says water sewer will drop 40% with the retirement of boiler and conversion to individual units, right? That's why when you see a lot of these performers and uh, a lot of these analysis videos that I do, I don't typically, it just says water and sewer because that's typically what you need to pay as an investor. It doesn't typically say trash or gas. The reason this says trash, number one, is this apartment building, guys. If you're buying like a single family home, duplex, quad, things like that, uh, the tenants just have regular garbage cans like you have at your own homes and the, and the city takes care of that. Anything bigger like that, you need a dumpster, which you as the landlord got to pay for. So that's trash. The reason I included gas here is most of the time we have individual furnaces, which they are advocating that you uh, can drop your water and sewer usage, which by the way, the fact that this uses boiler heat was another reason I felt it was necessary to make you factor in another five grand a year in water sewer usage, right? The reason that they're advocating, you know, you dropping that stuff is because, yeah, it, it will make your stuff cheaper. But the, the issue, because like the tenants, they'll pay for their utilities and stuff. But the issue is, it's they're not explaining the cost, right? I think it's probably cost prohibitive because, I mean, dude, to convert this from like a central boiler system to 18 individual furnaces, presumably forced air, to a, a old building like this that isn't set up for it, dude. I mean, we're looking probably over a hundred thousand dollars to do that. Right. So it's cool to say, yo, you do this and your costs are going to drop 40%. Yeah. Cool, bro. But like, what about the fucking hundred thousand uh, dollars that it's going to take to get there? So that's something you need to think about. And uh, because of that, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for you to, to do that. And if you're wondering why the rent seemed a little high for one bedroom units, right? We got a lot of one bedroom units here renting for 650. Uh, part of that is because the tenants don't need to pay their heat like they typically do. Now, I'm saying all this stuff to give you just a, a direct idea of like what's going on, dude. This is what I do, right? I'm all about transparency, right? I don't need to like fluff shit and sell you on the idea of investing in real estate, bro. You either get it or you don't, right? I mean, Real estate investing is a tried and true way to make a lot of money. More self-made millionaires in uh, the United States have become self-made millionaires through real estate than any other industry. So I don't need to sell you on real estate being a good, you know, a good move, right? You already know that. That's why you're here. What I need to do is provide you the most transparent idea of what your experience is going to be like so you know. So I'm not trying to bash the listing agents. I'm not trying to bash the seller. 
It's just, I, you know, they don't have the level of actual on the ground management experience that I do, right? These sellers, they're brokers. Their job is to get hired by sellers and sell properties. Uh, but I'm an investor right along with you. I manage properties. I got to keep this thing running uh, for you after you, you know, you buy it, right? So they get their paycheck when it sells and then they move on. Whereas, you know, I, I got to actually continue to bring in the money to you. So I, it doesn't make any sense for me to fluff shit. And then uh, you don't make anywhere near the money you thought you were going to make. And then you just motherfuck me to everybody you know, right? That's not how I do business. So I need you to understand exactly what's going to happen. As a matter of fact, speaking of me being right there with you, dude, at the top of the show, I talked about how you would actually be my neighbor if you bought this particular property. That is because I just opened up escrow uh, a few days ago on a four unit apartment building, literally right next door to you. And man, we got some footage. I'll put that on the screen right now. Uh, that building is all type of fucked up, right? That is just totally destroyed. That is like a 1800 something built building and man it is anything and everything in that building that could be screwed up is screwed up uh, but that is a project that you know we are taking on we're, we're going to close on that bad boy and do a full renovation because i believe in this neighborhood too you know i've been talking about this all the time um the listing agents presentation they've done a really great job showing a lot of the good stuff about this particular neighborhood it's also an opportunity zone where if you look on one of the pages they're performing here, they do a great job breaking down what exactly it means to invest in an opportunity fund and how you're going to get additional tax benefits because of that. So I believe in this particular neighborhood uh, because of all this great stuff. Now, just so you know, it's what I would normally consider to be a D-class neighborhood, but the, the actual little street of Archwood itself Okay. And it, they've also kind of highlighted that in their performer too. They've shown you like the, the Archwood house tour. This little like street and like streets immediately north and south of it are like a little bit nicer than the surrounding D-class area as well. It's just this tiny, teeny, teeny, weeny little pocket that, you know, I haven't like made any additional highlights on the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods or anything because it's just like a street or two. Uh, it just happens to be nicer um, than the rest of the stuff. And that's just purely because of the stock, right? The housing stock, the homes are just bigger, right? They were just bigger uh, bigger built homes like they're all as old as all the other surrounding stuff but a lot of surrounding houses are just a lot smaller in the rest of the neighborhood so you know way 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 back in the day when they were building these homes you know 100 plus years ago you know i'm assuming this is uh just you know where the rich folk were living so you know i like it i love the neighborhood i love the deal uh, I just wanted to make sure you are aware of what the actual NOI is, right? I don't want you thinking if you bought it at 750, you're getting a 9.7 cap because you ain't, bro. You're probably getting like a 7.3 cap. Now, as far as price goes, I believe it's a little overpriced at 750, right? 749.9. If you bought it at 749.9, dude, you're not like doing bad, right? Because a 7.3 cap with all the potential upside here, I mean, that is nothing to sneeze at, man. But I believe we can probably get you a little bit better of a deal. I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing this, right? I, I, I don't work for the seller. I don't exactly know what the seller will accept, but what I would like to do as your agent is see you pick this up for $675,000. If you pick this up for $675,000, that would make this property an 8.1 cap, which is freaking phenomenal for all the upside that we have here. So that is definitely a best case scenario. Now, some things you need to understand though, because I know you want to finance. We've talked about you financing this several times. The thing with you financing is <clears throat> that you're gonna have an issue with slightly on this particular property. I'm not saying you won't be able to get financing, but I don't want you to anticipate that you're going to get that, uh, you know, 30 year financing because any commercial deal, you're not getting 30 year financing, right? The commercial deals are a little bit different. So guys, you know, you hear me on the show talking about 30 years, low interest, fixed interest, da, 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 da. All you got to have is good W2 income, good credit. Yeah. That's for stuff between one to four units. Once you pop up to five plus, you're on commercial financing, which is a different ball game. So what you can anticipate is probably five, 10 or 15 year calls with an amortization anywhere between 10 and 25 years. You know, there's a ton of commercial lenders out there. I have a list of commercial lenders as well. So anybody who wants that sales at oldenwise.com, I will get that to you. Shoot us the email. Um, 
In addition to that, though, it's not always guaranteed that they, you're only going to have to pay 25% down. As a matter of fact, that's unlikely. You know, and the way they underwrite these buildings, okay, typically what they do is they take a look at the schedule ease of the seller. They look at what the property has made on the taxes. But Patrick, we talked about this uh, when we did your last um, analysis, right? I, I did an analysis on a 36 unit building for you. When you are in this price range, I know it seems like a lot of money, right? You know, we're talking about six hundred seventy-five to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, almost a million bones. That seems like a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things, I, you know, it's still considered a small multifamily unit. So, you're going to deal with unsophisticated brokers, unsophisticated sellers, unsophisticated property management companies. And what I mean by unsophisticated is, I, I, I'm not saying they're bad at their jobs. I'm just saying, like. You know, if you think that you're going to get this like really well organized financial records and things of that nature in this uh, asset class, you're not right. You gotta you gotta alleviate that from your expectations right now. That's just not going to happen. And then, in addition, because well, first before I even get into in addition to that, you know, it's just not going to happen, right? You got a lot of mom and pop folks, maybe only own a couple buildings. In addition, right? You know, this is just for better or for worse. Look, part of the real estate game, part of the reason people invest in real estate is to shelter income, right? You know, you know, it's a tax shelter, right? So a lot of people are not going to claim on their taxes all the money they're making. So it actually makes the buildings look like they perform a little bit uh, less than what they actually do. Again, that's why it's important for you to work with somebody who can give you an idea of what the building should make for better or for worse. So on this particular performance, though, you know, the listing agent, they puffed it up. And, you know, I give you the real deal. I tell you, yo, bro, psh, you ain't going to make that. You're going to make about 18K less, which is great. Um, but you could all, it goes both ways, right? You could be looking at tax records and a building could, you know, you could set a building like this up, or even though it's making a profit of 55K, you know, some investors are going to set it up where it looks like it's losing money on their taxes because, you know, that's what they do, right? If they're, they're making, you know, income of $500,000 somewhere else, if you could show a $50,000 loss on an apartment building, you just, you know, lowered your tax burden, right? That's, that's another thing you got to factor in. So because of that, and in addition to that, so I was trying to get to earlier, the fact that this is a newer purchase and this is a turn and they've already said, yo, we're not giving you guys any tax uh, records. What you see is what you get. The only thing that we can get for you in addition to what I've given you here in this video is after it's under contract to verify that they're actually there, the sellers, of course, are willing to give us all the tenants leases, but that's it. So you're going to have to take that information to your lender and see what they're going to loan you. So I don't anticipate the lender loaning you 75% of the purchase price on this property. Uh, maybe they'll loan you 50%, 40%, something like that. But, you know, I know of the money you want to put into this market. A lot of that is cash on hand. Um, and this is a solid deal. And I just want to make you aware that these are the types of things you're going to be experiencing when we go through this, right? So I don't want you to write this deal off because there isn't enough financial records for you to obtain really, really beneficial financing because I don't believe you are going to find that in the Cleveland market. Like if you look at where we're at in the market today in 2020 with what you're trying to do in this asset class, you are not going to find a building that is priced at one of these high caps you're looking for that has these beautiful tax accounted records totally organized and that is set up in a way that is showing a big profit. Like it's just not going to happen. It's not all going to be wrapped up in a bow like that for you. So you're going to have to adjust your expectations if that is what you were thinking. And you even to go further on that thought process, if, if you get a seller who had a building that they were that organized and everything was ran so good and organized, everything was accounted for. A, you know, they're paying big money to their tax accountants to beat that income down because they're not going to try to pay extra to run it super organized to pay more in taxes, right? That's just not what they're going to do. In addition, you know, the market is hot, man. It's hard to buy multifamily out there. So, you know, a super organized and sophisticated seller, they're going to be selling it at a much lower cap just because there's a lot of people out here that want to buy these, dude. Like this property will absolutely sell. Um, again, I think 675 would be the, a great price, but that's best case scenario. You may have to pay higher than that. But even if you had to pay list, I don't, I don't think it's the end of the world because there just isn't like a large amount of inventory 
of properties on the market in Cleveland that have more upside than this and more cash flow and yada, yada, all the things I talked about. So I do love the deal. I would love to see us uh, take down this deal. So if you're interested in this deal, of course, you'll reply to our email when we send you the video. And just so everybody else out there who's watching this, the way the process works is after we do the analysis, you know, we send you the email, you reply to sales at holdmonies.com. We talk about the offering strategy and then my team will write up the offer for you. If anybody else that's watching Patrick's video, uh, just so you know, you don't have the opportunity to bid on this property. When you, you're actually watching this, um, it's probably 60, 90, 120 days after I've sent this to Patrick. We've already probably gone through the deal. The property's already off the market. I keep these private, right? These are just private videos until the deal is done. Then I release them live on Holton Wise TV so you all have the opportunity to learn. But if you're interested in working with me and my team one-on-one -on -one like my man Pat is, uh, you go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, swing down to the property for sale or I'm sorry, click the property for sale tab, swing down to the MLS search and analysis show and take a look at the products uh, that we are offering. You can do, you know, one property, two property. Right now we're doing a huge sale where you can get 10 properties um, and you can work with me for the long term to really build up your portfolio like Patrick is doing, right? You get me my expertise and I give you, I cut it to you straight, man, non-biased, right? I, I just want to give you guys a complete and uh, firm understanding for better or for worse what it's like to invest in real estate out here in the Cleveland market. So again, Pat, man, I, I can't stress it enough. I do dig this building. I like it. Matter of fact, I'll be buying the building next door, uh, even though it's all type of messed up. But hey, guess what, man? I'm going to be increasing property values. It's another benefit for you because that fucking dog shit building right now uh, that is currently your neighbor is about to be a pristine renovated multi-unit building. So there's a lot of good stuff happening in this particular neighborhood. So I definitely think this is the right building for you. If not, hey, that's cool. Tell me why. And we will continue on looking at other buildings. And that, that, folks, is all I've got for you today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders 
who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.